we're going to try and set up teams for free i've seen a lot of articles about people doing this since the covid 19 so for, for myself i would like to have teams free for my time so for this i've gone to this url which i'll put in the description so let's go for business i'm going to type in my email address on my domain and i'm presented with these three options so i'm going to say for work and it's going to tell me to create an account so let's click create an account it's asking me for a password so we're going to put something secure Then it's going to ask me for my day back. It's just sent me an email, so I'm just going to go to my email and confirm that. That's my verification. Do not want to receive information, tips, and offers. Just asking for me details. Set up teams. And I can download the Windows app. So at this stage, my registration has complete, completed and verified. So I should just install this app, log in with the credentials that I've set up, and I should be good. I just type in my email address. It's probably going to ask me for my password, which it has. And that's my team set up for free. So I am all good now. So I can communicate through this. What you need to understand is this is the free version. So there will be limitations. And on the same website I've linked in the description, you can see the comparison between the free, the business essentials and the business premium. And as you can see, the chat and collaboration, you get all features. So obviously, there's some size issues. Um, obviously, the maximum numbers of users is actually better than the actual paid version. But the actual sizes of attachments and file sharing is actually limited per user or, or across all teams. And the meetings and calling, obviously you get all the audio and video calls, screen sharing, background blur features, which probably includes 
the new background effects where you can put in uh, the the um, the store Microsoft backgrounds they've provided also the custom backgrounds which you can work your way through the app data of your user and be able to add custom ones but what you don't get is scheduled meetings meeting recordings and hosting video conferencing meetings uh, productivity apps and services you are very limited with this feature you only get web versions of word excel and powerpoint you obviously all the other features are not included and security and compliance your data is encrypted by default but obviously you don't get a single sign on multi-factor authentication and advanced auditing reporting so you won't be able to go to the admin center and basically monitor your users so this is very basic usage of video conferencing but this will help you get started using it try the product and if you do want to use more of the advanced features even going up by one by paying i think it's it says five dollars there i think it's three pound 30 in uh united kingdom where i'm from so that's per user so if you've got a small company you can do this if you want to do it for free obviously there is limitations and some security concerns regards to only having one password to access it rather than multi-factor so an administration you can't administer it you have to just invite people and people will have to just register themselves and you're not guaranteed on any support yet and uptime for this you're much lower um in guaranteed uptime in comparison to the other paid users because they're going to have a priority because they're paying for the services but that's it you're set up and ready to use teams